about some out of towners not from Canada? How about that? Anyone? Uh, okay. Long Island. Long Island. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm from Long Island. No one ever thinks we're fucking over there because of comments like that. <laughs> hey, I'm from out of town, 20 miles away. Have you fucking heard of it? <laughs> Where are you from? Massive people farming there. What trash town are you from? Jersey, okay. Same shit. What a <laughs> Red Bank Freehold? Oh my god, what, what town? Seaside Heights. Seaside Heights. Oh! oh! He's got the old uh, the duck phone at the Jersey Shore House over there. That's, oh, you guys are like what Philly Jersey trash it looks like, right? I see the Philly Jersey. Just the one? Just the one. This guy got mad. You guys look pissed off right now. Look at this. <laughs> Fuck Philly. Well, we're not doing that right now. It's really good show. We can't divide this crowd up top, you know? <laughs> Actually, what do you guys, uh, look at City now, or just here up for the weekend? What's going on? Uh, we go to school up here. Oh, there you go. Where do you go to school? Uh, Merchant Marine Academy. Oh, I love the Merchant Marines over here. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you were in the Navy, you'd get some <laughs> but now they're like, Merchant Marine. <laughs> Fuck these losers, they're in for the money. <laughs> That's cool. What, what, uh, what year are you guys in? Last year. Oh, very fun. So legally drinking. Is that, is that a, can you drink at Merchman Cabin? Outside the game. Thursday night, yes. <laughs> it's a yes or no question. Folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll slip with me. I'm not a, I'm not your no commanding problem. officer. <laughs> very fun. I'd say give up here one more time. It was pretty good the first time around. But I, I, uh, thanks, David. How uh, about in the back? Anyone from overseas? Anyone from, uh, yeah? Where are you from? England, okay, you don't sound like it. Say something funny. What do you say? Nothing, you don't sound like you're from England at all. How long have you been in America for? Uh, six months. Six months? Sounds like 60 years. I can't, uh... Am I, am I just not hearing her in the back? Does she sound very American? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, what brought you to America, miss? Oh, gosh. Okay, now you're playing on thick. Yeah. Okay. What's this one word Americans may know? Yeah, I know the Spice Girls. Come on, yeah. This is my friend. She's sporty. It's a thing. You know, that's how we talk. She's, that means like you're like rich and bougie, right? That's... Yes, maybe. I'm not just story. Anyway, what makes you posh? What makes you posh? You tell us. I'm going to Cambridge. Calm down. Calm down. That's a safety school of all the smart schools. <laughs> We cheer for Oxford or Trinity at the comic ship, all right? Yeah! Hell yeah. You guys don't even know what that fucking is. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> but you get, you get vertigo from it. And not treat ear infection, right? Is that how you got it? No, how'd you get it? The ear crystals went out of place. Are you a Wiccan? What is that? Ear crystals? <laughs> that is the right way to say it. That's a wild way to say it. <laughs> What happens is the fluid in your ear gets solid and it fucks up your equilibrium. But this woman says ear crystals. So now we need, we need to talk to her. Um, what do you do? Um, I teach about birds. Even more interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> Where and who do you teach birds to? <laughs> is this in like a building or in the park or are you just shouting things out about birds? <laughs> Well, that's my friend Clarissa, the pigeon. Maybe she's... Where do you teach about birds? It is in the park. Interesting. <laughs> is it through an organization? What's the organization? Oh, that's a real thing. Okay. Lead with that, lady. Don't lead with crystals and lead with the Armand Society. The people know that. That's fun. How do you guys know each other? <laughs> Are you part of the society as well? I'm sorry. Yeah, just don't be sorry. You don't need to apologize. I need your dates. Are you guys part of the society? Are you going out? What's going on? Boating birders. Boating birders. Boating birders. Okay, cool. Here's a question about birding. Can't you just lie about it? <laughs> right? Is that a problem? And morally, yeah. What was that? Morally, okay. She's very soft spoken. I can even, I'm two feet away. Um, <laughs> birds, though. Any questions about birds while we're here? Because I'm going to move on quickly because this is dying. Anyway, going once on birds? No, nothing. Okay, that's fun now. What was I talking about? Vertigo, though. I had vertigo. 
If a bird had vertigo, he'd be fucked. They would just <laughs> torn into the ground. <laughs> How about you guys? You guys going out? Dating? Brother, sister? What's yeah. going on? Dating? Cool. What uh, did you guys meet? College. Very cool. So, oh, you've been together for how long? Six and a half years. Congratulations. Crowd doesn't give a shit, but I think that's cool. <laughs> I, uh, oh, man. How did you meet in college? You see each other in the gym? Class? She needed a new costume, probably. So she knocked on my door. Interesting. You're the costume guy? Gave her a jersey. Thought ah. Did you go thinking he was cute or just very random? I needed the costume. You needed the costume. Right. Stick it with the story. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> it's cute. It's, it's better than like, I just saw her when I was on the toilet looking at my phone. It was, uh, that's how 50% of these people met. So, uh, I hated being single. I did it. I sucked at being single. I, I, the thing is, I had a one-night stand like six months ago. And uh, I knew it was a one-night stand because the woman told me it was. <laughs> we woke up and she was like, that was a fun one-night stand. <laughs> she was like, you're right, I don't have feelings. Thank you. Uh, great. I was a job number. I got an Uber and I texted her. I was like, hey, before I give this Uber a five-star rating, uh, just let me know you got home alive. And she texted me back, I got home alive, period. I was like, this sounds like something Ahmed the Uber driver would say to cover up a murder. Uh, give me a personal detail so I know it's you. And she goes, well, to be honest, the sex was disappointing. Yeah. I was like, good on, man. Thanks for killing that bitch. I appreciate it. Five stars, tip, Boston on the lake. If you're a good guy, bring us a lot. That's cool. What type of finance? Government finance? I'm like, bro, what are you doing for them? They like, suck it. <laughs> I, do, I saw this the other day, I was watching the news, it was like, we're giving 60, 60 billion to Ukraine and 100 to Israel. I was like, these are like NBA contracts. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> Five years, 100 billion, zero results. This is zero championships. <laughs> oh, no. Probably not the best part of the year to do that joke, but uh, given how it's going in the Middle East. But anyway, who not? Um, no, please. I got accused of being racist last week. Can you believe that? A white guy in 2023? Out of pocket. Oh my god. I was getting dinner with my friends, and he's like, let's get Chinese. And I was like, nah, I hate that food. And he goes, that's racist. I was like, that's preference. It'd be racist if I hated who made the food. And I love Mexicans. So, you know... <laughs> Inflation was real until Mexican food went up in price, right? My entire life, Mexican food has been recession-proof. But all of a sudden, I went to Taco Bell two weeks ago. I ordered two tacos. It's $10. Five years ago, you walked on a Taco Bell with $10. And you were the deed to that Taco Bell, okay? <laughs> you guys ready for a fun show? Yeah. Oh, right. You guys ready for a fun show? We're going to kill our lineup this first time.